Okay, good morning, good morning. All right, so uh, looking at um, XPUN up 216%. Um, of course, you know, Tesla has been making a hard, hard move down. Uh, that's where all of the news was yesterday. So now Tesla is not the top volume mover. Um, behind Tesla is AMC. Kind of watching XPUN uh, slow pre-market. Yeah, I'm watching XPUN for a dip. As long as it can hold up two dollars, I'm good. But let's read some of this news though. Um, let's see. News on Xpun is Xpun 360 shares double after lithium uh, lithium or lithium ion battery supply deal. That is some good news right there. Definitely gonna be looking for that one on a dip. Let me look at the past history of Xpun. We'll see, man. This thing, this thing is looking like it can it can get up and go. Had a top up here of the 429. 429. And then even back here, 475. And then 544. But right now it's at 305. Where was a previous level where it tested? Let's see. Maybe around this 250 level. So I'll be interested, and this time I'm going to follow my rules. I'll definitely be interested if it uh, comes back down and tests that 250, 225 level. Uh, last time I was very impatient. The plan would have worked out. It just I just did, did not follow the plan. But uh, looking at these previous levels of support, 236, 225 to 250. Is looking like about the spot that I would I would uh, be very interested. It's got six million shares traded on it. Tesla, AMC, Amazon. Let's see. Uh, the next one is I M I M R N, but it does not have a catalyst on the day, so I wouldn't even touch that. I I M R N or whatever that or no 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 maybe I didn't press the right one. I M R N. Um I. IMRN gets FDA approval to proceed with traveling evaluation. Um, the shares trading higher after the company announced it's received FDA approval. That FDA approval is not as good of a catalyst as XPUN. So my main focus is going to be XPUN on this morning. Uh, let's see. Any other news catalysts on the potential trades? Mm. Nope. So yeah, Xplan is gonna be the number one for today. Watch it dip off and be ready to play. Play ball on it. IMRN. Uh, if it does start shooting, I want to see IMRN fall before I take any do anything with Xplan. If it does take off or or whatever at the open, it is a little bit cheaper. Let's flip over here to Street Smart. So these are the stocks that I was looking at um, yesterday. They kind of popped up for a little bit. Acer, dead. No kind of volume, only a thousand shares traded. Raya, dead, was a chop factory. SINT, dead. Not even 10 million shares traded. Lace, trash. HTGM. Continued on down and I haven't taken any trades this week. Uh, Xpun has the best news that I've seen overall this week. Um, but we'll see. So I'm watching these four IMPP. Where did I get that one from? IMPP was up 15%. The news on that one, it, it announced on Thursday, successful meeting with FDA on uh, some kind of chemotherapy. Let me look into that. Okay, um, what kind of chemotherapy is this? Company developing novel leg. 
immunotherapies. FDA have agreed to test. What kind is this for? Okay, well, IMPP is going to be up there. Actually, no. IMPP, let me look at that float before I say it's going to be up there. Don't want to get into a chop factory today. Let me see. Let's see what that floats looking like. IMPP float is eighty-two point sixty-one million. I'm not touching that. So yeah, let's just stick around the things that are actually low float and have big potential. IMRN, let me go look at that one. IMRN float. Float is looking like 4.8 million, that's more like it, okay. So yeah, we got our two that we uh that I'm interested, very interested in, and I'll continue to watch the other ones um fail. I got Tesla up here just to see if it continues to pump down. The spy did go down and touch the 375. Me and Donnell, we were talking about uh yesterday about that 375, and I was like, man, that thing 375 is looking like it's gonna be that drop point. But you see how they play with the emotions of the traders. It went down touch 375 and bounce back up to the 380s so i don't know if it'll continue to test 375 coming into the end of this year or what but we'll see what the spy is going to do uh, it did have quite a nice little rebound so it may bring some more attention back to stocks with good news like x fund so as of right now um let me jump back up here this is what i was just looking at the spy jumping from the 375 back up here to the 380s but as of right now, with this little pump up, we'll see if X pun can get uh, any kind of love as well. But I do want to see a flush first. Uh, the high here was 350 on the for the resistance. As of right now, pre market resistance. Um, and the two dollars. Let's just see. Two dollars is all the way down here. I make that my line in the sand. I do not want to see it below two dollars. Uh, if it gets here and kind of consolidates, okay, I may play ball, but don't want to see it below that. Um, we already looked at the daily chart for this thing. Good morning, Lori Lee. Good morning, Drifter. Uh, we looked at the daily chart for x as well, so we already have our levels here marked out. Uh, we have previous levels up here, 544, 476, 435, and then we had supports down here right around the 225 250 level right and so what i wanted to see is this thing dip down into these previous support levels because it doesn't really have any true support up here maybe around these this 330 here could be a level that uh causes some problems but uh yeah i'm looking for it to come back down to maybe 250 225 something like that and give us a nice play back up to the upside on this good news on the lithium ion news the lithium ion deal let's go and look further into this deal though because we don't want to be blind out here all right so x xp on 360 shares more than double to 242 well it's higher than 242 now uh, the battery power storage company said its lithium uh, ion batteries have been integrated as key elements of uh, the trailer's onboard solar power storage system. Power systems equipped with Xpion or Xpion 360 lithium batteries will include uh, will be included as standard equipment on the top models. All right. So let's see, XPion plans to begin shipping the lithium ion batteries to the trailer manufacturer in the first quarter of 2023. Uh, the Overland trailer is expected to be available for purchase for uh, through more than 5,000 SUV dealers across North America starting early next year. Okay, so they have moves and plans for the uh, early part of next year. 
Let me go and see if I can gather any more information on this one. Expand summary. Selected as an exclusive supplier of these batteries for major brand Overland Trailer available through. Let's go look at Overland Trailer. Land Trailer. Build your own teardrop. Okay, division. Okay. Overland trailer. Let's see what we got. Follow along our adventures in designing and building our first Overlander trailer. What kind of shopping can do y'all have? Let's see your shop. Okay, tongue box, 12 volt battery holder, battery chargers. Okay, so this is the people that they're going they're going to be exclusively buying from Xpun those batteries that will be in these um these trailers. Hmm. So yeah. We will see, but I do need to see a flush first. I'm not going to not going to just jump in this thing. Uh, looks like it had during pre-market looks like it gapped from the 260s up to the uh, 281s I, I want to see this thing try to come down and start showing me support around this 260 level and even better uh, the bottom of this 225 down to the two dollars would probably be a nice uh, nice little play there support and I'm not going to get mode into this thing i want to i want to see my plan work out because last time it worked out i just entered early and the drawdown on the actual flush was just horrible uh so i just have i just need to stick to the plan need to watch for that real flush away away from those highs because somebody up here is gonna want to sell if they bought down here at a dollar or 98 cents somebody's going to want to sell some some position some limit orders are going to get hit and i'm going to wait i'm going to wait patiently for that flush i am r n um Lori says ICCM closing dilution today. I don't see ICCM on any of my scans. Let me see. What is it looking like? I know it was up there uh, last time, but yeah, that thing's way under two dollars. I ain't touching that. Too much. Too many eyes are gonna be on Xpun. I'm looking for the catalyst. It, unless unless ICCM has catalyst today. Let's see. CM. Do you guys have cat? No, they don't have catalyst today. I wouldn't touch that. I'm good. Expun is the one. I'm focused. Focus on what matters on the day. Focused. Um, let's jump here to the scans though. And even look at the scans though. The top volume mover, greater and, and, and even on either one of my scans, I'm not seeing anything about ICCM. It's gonna have to boost up its uh, volume and all that. Um, it's it's just gonna have to get back over two dollars. So if it can't do that, I don't think it's gonna be any competition for Xpon today or IMRN, which is also up for forty nine percent. They gotta focus. It, it even has a, a challenger from IMMP is getting, uh you know, up 11%. So these three, IMMP, I'm really not interested in. I think it's going to end up going back on the $2. But x has the room to pull down above the $2 and give a nice little uh, resurgence bounce. And that's what I'm looking for on x with that catalyst. It's the only thing that has the catalyst for the day. So that's where my... My focus shall be. Got our supports out here. Uh, Two dollars is a line in the sand. I'll make this a blue line or something else um, just to put that line in the sand. Edit that. All 
All right, so that if it goes below two dollars, I'm gonna have to see it hold that two dollars wrong for me to even attempt to do anything with it because I do not want to see it below two. Good morning, stunks and chomps in the building. We're in here watching X Fun for a nice little flush on this Friday and to get to get a little frisky, as uh as uh Ben might say frisky um but yeah yeah that two dollars if we look over here on tos look at look at how that two dollars looks on this chart I mean, breakdown of two dollars would be breaking. That would be so much weakness there. That break of that two dollars. So as long as it can stay like two twenty five, two fifteen, just hover above that two dollars. I'll be good. And then for the tops here, I don't know where this thing's going to top out at. I don't even know. I'm just pretty much focused on support now because the tops really don't matter as much. Um, I mean, maybe if there's some closer to quarter, I'll mark the ones closer to quarter dollar levels. That's what I'll do. Let me remove it. Yeah, we got eight minutes to the bell. So this is our support that $2 support. And then we have. This is the 375 ish level. 375 I'll put that up there 375 um where's the 350 325 nope nothing there okay so maybe the four dollars will be the next one so 375 four dollars would love to see a pullback off of that back into these levels and then a nice little resurgence but gotta wait for that dip Got to wait for these people to try to sell first. <clears throat> Seven million shares traded on it. Nice. So right now, four dollars. We're looking for a pullback. Um, we're looking for some nice selling uh, uh, at this four dollars for a pullback, and we can uh, reassess if we need to. But we'll see. Six minutes to the open. Christmas weekend. What you got for me? Christmas Friday before Christmas.
to be honest, if it does get down to the $2 very quickly, it may actually be an okay buy. It depends on the momentum going to two though. Like two isn't a bad buy. It's a nice low, you know, low entry point. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't just count out two. I would definitely still be watching it. Especially if it continues to be the uh, high volume mover on the day. See if we can get down and test that 225, $2. Now, depending on if it goes straight to two, man, I might be taking the entry here. If it just loop, <laughs> I might be taking that entry, you know. But right now, just hovering on the three dollars whole dollar level. Less than two minutes to the open. All right, 30 seconds. Looking for the flush. We look out here on the level twos right now. Let's see what we got. Nothing pretty much down there. Okay, so right here we have the first big size at 285. Let's see how it flushes through that. The next level is, it's like there's some at 250. All right, here goes the open. See how these markets want to act. Definitely need to see that flush first though. Everybody believes it's going up. Get all those longs in there because these orders, these uh, limit orders need to be filled. Go ahead and crack down on them. There we go. Get this nice flush. So we got a level right here at the, what is this? The 268 needs to break down a two. It needs to, needs to test this gap is what it needs to do.
nice nice two three fifties so this top up here I, i'm i was thinking it was going to be one of them either four dollars or the 350 that was going to hold it down let's see which one it is there we go yeah yeah look at that flush let's go get those longs in there and kill them kill them kill them say it with me now kill the longs kill the longs give us that good flush entry yes sir root for the shorts in the morning so they can create a good opportunity for you later on beautiful beautiful pullback mm, mm, mm. rubbing my little hands my little mitts together come on baby Get this nice flush on them. All right, so we see a size on the level twos, 11,000 shares here at the 295. Let's see if we can go ahead and crack under three and start to challenge this 295 to get on through it. Uh, the next size, let's see, don't really see any other big sizes yet, but 295 is sitting on the sitting on the B is kind of heavy. So we'll see if we can get a test down there. Let's see where the size is up here. We got uh 374s had 11,000 share, but I mean it ain't it's probably not gonna get up there very quickly. That's that's uh 60 cents away now. 50 60 cents away waiting for the flush flush has still not happened so no buys look at this thing get punched wow all right so now we're looking at the wicks on the hour chart we can see where the war zone has been so during pre-market, the war zone only got up to 350 and then out of the open, of course, we were expecting it to break something up here because one is cheaper two, it's it's one of those stocks with good catalyst. So a lot of people, a lot of buyers, long positions got into this thing thinking it will rip higher because of hopes and dreams. We want hopes and dreams to die so we can actually enter in a logical position. This is the hopes and dreams dying. So let's let's see this flush. Let's see it. And if it doesn't flush, hey, it doesn't meet the criteria, it doesn't meet the expectation. So I'll be hands off once again. It'll be a no trade week for me. I'm OK with that. This is what it's looking like on TOS right now. Popped up here to the 374s. Has a bottom here of the 291. We're, we're, we're looking for this uh, 295 to get tested and uh, probably drop through. Just needs to hold up the two, really. Uh, we do have MR, my, my bad, IMRN up 62%. Uh, up 15 percent but i it just doesn't have the catalyst i think what this is going to do is it's going to get long traders over here for something that doesn't have a catalyst and then x fund is going to pop so i'm going to keep my eye on x fund i'm going to wait to see it imrn to fall and look for those low flush buys on uh x fund uh lori says c r c o r z ripping Oh man, that thing's 13 cents. Let's see how far it's ripped. 11 cents up to 13 cents. Well, yeah. Take 100,000 shares, 200,000 shares, and you'll be okay. Psych. All right. I'm going to expand. You got some work to do to the downside.
All right, now x finally going red. Come on, get on down. Once you come down and test this $2, you got plenty of range. Very low float. Uh, I think this one had 4 million shares in the float. Yeah, 4.48 million shares in the float. Ooh, this thing's going to be beautiful. Beautiful. Love the way it's setting up this morning. But I cannot get impatient. Got to wait for the flush. The flush has still not happened. It got some sell-off, but this is not considered a flush to me. Two ninety-fives coming into play, and you can see that that size that was there. The two ninety-five was like eleven thousand something shares. Look at that boy go! Come on, go ahead and check this whole gap. I wanted to check out this whole gap. Now, this is, is the beginning of a flush. This isn't where you buy it. This is the analysis. Like, where is this thing going to slow down at this point? You know, where are the buyers going to come back into this thing? So now it's presenting a much, much better setup. So I like it. Coming on down. 275s. And this is where I got caught on the other one that I tried to trade like this. I saw a holding a 25 uh, quarter dollar quarter dollar level and i was like man i gotta get in and i got in and then it finally did a real flush behind the the initial flush and i was like no but this time i'm gonna be patient i'm gonna let things play out and i'm going to observe uh tesla taking another drop from the 126 down to the 122s back to this previous low of yesterday uh, looking like it wants to get through it there at the uh, 122.24s. Let's jump back to the scans real quick. So right now, Xpun looking amazing. IMRN taking the attention away. But look, look, this is why I focus on volume. Where, where do people actually care about? IMRN was ripping, but look at the volume. No one cares about IRMN. Or whatever is it, whatever it is. It's like it unless it kept, that volume catches up, I'm I'm gonna keep my eyes on uh X Spun because it's got more attention, more eyes over there. Um lower down here, let's see. Nobody else keeping up with these two. These are the top two in the uh these potential trades on um, my potential trade scanner, IMRN and X Spun. Want to see it go ahead and break down at 275 get on down to 250s so that was the original test of this gap field uh 270s looking for it to break on into that level break on down Tesla breaking down even lower uh, towards the 22s. Spy uh, going down as well, back towards that, that bottom. IMRN still trapping those longs. As of now, we have a verified war zone up here to the three, three seventy five ish level. Possibility has not tested those fours yet. And let's see what's this three twenty five ish as well. So I put a little bit of resistance there as well. And then we'll look at the bot, the actual bodies of the candles. So the bodies of the candles, this one is under the $3 for resistance, but very tight, very tight uh, little levels in here that can be popped. But looking for this thing to give a little bit of more movement down. Want to see that 275. Let's look at on the level twos. 
Uh, the next size is at the uh, 262s right there. Look at 13,000 sitting out there. Let's see if we can go and test that 262 level. Two sixty two, and then on the ask, let's look over here. We got the three dollars up here with twelve thousand shares. So we got uh, from three dollars down to the two sixty two. That's forty cents that uh, that the shorts can push. Well, I can't I can't say that they can push, but that's the range right now. Looking like uh, the biggest size is sitting out there. But this thing's got to get that flush. It still has not flushed yet. Getting back up to the threes. Uh, Three dollars still has that thirteen thousand sitting out there at three dollars. And when I say flush, I want to see it flush on the hour chart, not the uh, not these lower time frames. I'm looking for a flush on the hour chart because the reversal on the larger time charts give you a better continuation, give you a better uh, analysis of the, the reversal. If you're looking on like a one minute, this may look like a reversal right here. But if you're looking on the 15, I'm looking at the 15 and 30 in the hour. You can see that this is definitely got a lot to work to do to be a reversal. And so this is not an area you want to be trying to trying to take any crazy uh, share size at just yet. Hasn't it's not enough data points. IMRN still trapping folks. Six million shares traded on it. Up 17% with no catalyst. Need to see that 275 go ahead and break. I give it a little bit of time. We'll look at other things while it's doing that. Any other news coming? Closing up right at this 286, the bottom of the body of this 15-minute uh, candle. It may come back up and test VWAP, which is a $3. Um, but we'll see. Challenging the bottom of that, that candle right there. And it is $0.20 cents higher than the previous low. But I'm looking forward to test that low. It's still a little bit too close to VWAP right now for me. VWAP right now at 305 has not we have not seen a very explosive move away from VWAP yet. This first candle got nine million this first 15 minute candle got nine million shares traded in it. Very high interest on this thing. 
IMRN had a high of the 285s. Pre-market high was the 355s. Turning around now. Let's look on the level twos here on the bids. Where the bids sitting? Where's that big bid? Still at 262. So until the bids start coming up, it, it doesn't matter. Like there's the size is so far down. They don't know if this thing wants to crash or not. not. But whoever's down here is looking like a buyer at 262. So want to see that get challenged. Maybe it'll dump down from 262 to 250 or 225. And we'll be in with those buyers instead of being in with the sellers over the top. The sellers are sitting at $3, 301 right here on the on the level two. See, this 15,000. Now, this number does not mean that that's the amount of shares. They can spoof the number. But we do know with that large amount there, there is interest in that area. And that interest is above the price act, the current price action. So it's like, OK, what what longs in their right mind will put limit orders that high? Not too many. Those are sellers. Now, if those sellers get their backs blown out, that that's unpredictable. We didn't know that was going to happen. You know, if it gets up to three, goes through three, hits three, 15, 325, that's we didn't know that was going to happen. We want easy. We want predictable. And we want to be in with the real buyers. Right now, being this close to VWAP, I mean, this thing could come up here, tap three, straight down, instant loss. Okay, getting on back down there, 276s. We see a 37,000 position at the uh, 70s, uh, at 270 right there. I don't think that's going to hold. That's a pretty odd number for 37,000 to be dropping in there. Let's see. Nope. The size is still down here at 262, though. So people are kind of kind of playing around with it. Now, if this starts moving up. We start seeing this going to 265s and this this size gets all the way up to 75. We know that somebody is is trying to move this thing upwards at that point. But if it continues to move down 262 and then maybe it jumps down to 250s, we know there's some weakness and, and the buyers want better prices. Do, do, do. Looking over here, see the size keeps going up at $3. It's up to 15000 And then right above the $3, $3 look at that, 10000 right above it. Oh, my God. If it gets up to 3 it's going to get slammed. Yeah, they're, they're not playing right there around that $3, that whole dollar level. And this is why you use those level 2s. You can't trust the values on the level 2s, but you can trust the interest, you know. And sometimes they'll spoof numbers like they'll put that you'll see like twos and ones on the level twos, like really small numbers. They're spoofing, man. They're spoofing because I know on uh, one of the brokers that I was looking into, I think it was trade zero. You can actually pay to to have your orders uh, um, posted as a different number so they can spoof those. And, and that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for those odd numbers like this one right here. Two fifty nine right here has a one in there. That doesn't make sense. Somebody, somebody's spoofing right there, right? Somebody is doing something crazy right there, and it's right under this level that has ten thousand, right? So it's it's more than just looking at the level two, seeing the numbers come through. It's understanding the games that these people play, you know, because it's all a game.
it's all a game. Well, it's all a game until, you know, you, you get hurt. And now look at look at this size. Look at this size on the ask moving down. Look at this. Ten thousand. It was at three dollars and now they're getting more confident. It's moving down on the ask. Look at that. Two ninety fours. Three dollars. So now we got two levels here. Moving on down. Moving on down. So we're gonna let them get theirs at the three dollars. And let's see, is this one moving up? Nope. Still sitting in the same spot. Two sixty twos. Let these people get slammed. M I I M R N took a little bit of a dip down there to 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 the two fifties. If it never flushes, though, oh well. But I needed to uh, follow follow what I'm seeing because the thing is if it doesn't follow what I'm seeing it just starts ripping that means I didn't have a good read on it anyway so I rather I rather not have a good read on it low and it explodes than not have a good read on it high and it drops on me But it's coming up to this three dollar level. We're gonna see if what I'm seeing is accurate. Right now, the two ninety fours is coming up to that level that had the ten thousand shares there, right under the three dollars. Will the three dollars become heavy resistance? Here's the question. At VWAP, it's literally right at VWAP. Three hundred two is a VWAP. Do I have an okay read on it or not? Yep, three dollars got got hit right there, jumped up there, high of two ninety nine. Is the read accurate? We still have this 11,000 back here at the uh, $3 as well. So I guess the first question you have to ask is, okay, do I have a read on this stock? Can Is is this a predictable stock for me? Look at the level twos, look at different, different things and take a mental trade. Say, okay, if I was a short, is this playing out the way that I would want it to play out, right? Came up to the $3 right at VWAP, this is where I will be shorting, not where I will be buying. And so you see it's getting a little bit of pressure off that three. But that does not mean that that three is going to hold yet. It only got a little test. So I want to see, am I, am I good? Am I good here? First trade of the day should always be a mental trade. Next trade, we'll get in. <laughs> two three three getting jumped up there let's see if they'll hold it where's that level two three oh five three tens they're getting their feels Ooh, three getting quite jumpy there quite jumpy so i guess three is looking like it wants to hold Let's see an explosion away from the $3 level. Where is that fear? Where would the where would the stop losses be right here? Would the stop losses be under this 15 minute at the 275? Or where, where would the stop losses be here to, to start the flush? I'm thinking 275 is a nice quarter dollar level. So we'll see. Two seventy five. Will it come back into play? VWAP and three dollars. Whole dollar resistance and VWAP resistance at the same time. That's that's pretty heavy. But this is a low float, so it could be unpredictable. So, so let's see where look on the level twos and see where the size is now. Uh, 350 size moved all the way up to 350 12,000 so we may see a little pop here uh, it moved quite a bit away let's see where the ask is now I mean the, the bid is now up oh, still at 26 262s though so the bid hasn't moved up but the ask has moved up hmm 
Will they be willing to buy this thing up? I'm expecting to crash either way it goes, though. Because the bids are not moving up. They should be aggressively moving up to move this stock higher. But they're not. Still sitting at the same value. 262s. So $3 holding there. More and more shorts and their aunts and uncles. And all of their little cousins getting on board. We'll see if they can hold this thing down. So you want, if, if the price action is going to move up, you're going to see big moves on the bid towards where the prices are. But this thing just continues to sit here at the 262s. Not very enticing. And look at this. Wow, 21,000 at the 350s. Gee whiz. So there must be another size in here I'm missing somewhere. Let's see. 8,000 at 310s. Will they go ahead and move back down though? Need to see those big sizes move on down here. That's 21,000. Wow. Let's see if there are any big sizes back here. Not really. So it looks like the three held down. The hour chart is still telling us we're, we're in the momentum of downwards momentum. Uh, the 30 minute will be closing in two minutes. So there'll be a new 30 minute candle here. Will it close below the body of this candle? The top of the body of this candle is the three dollars looking for it to close below the three to continue this momentum down. Uh, we may get a we may get a full test of this uh, through this this gap feel here, which would be nice. Looking for that 250 test, 225 would be great. Amazing. $2 would be even more, but it's got to get down there fast. We need to see momentum. If it just grinds down there, you know, it's, it's, eh. But if it gets down there quick, where those buyers can get in quick and be ready for their resurgence, their reversal, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, 30 minute candle will be closing in about 30 seconds. Will it get that continuation down under this 285 getting down to the 275s? This candle, this 15 minute candle has 4 million shares traded. The first candle had 9 million, so it reached about halfway of the volume. There we go, 275s. And let's see, this thing's still sitting. The bid's still sitting at 262. And the looks like the uh let's see, are the shorts, the ask size moving down now from the 350s. 350, still 21,000 uh, up there, 350s. But should see some bigger sizes uh move on down to VWAP. VWAP is at the 299 now, so VWAP is coming down with the stock. 275 did get tested again there though. But the hour is still telling us that this thing wants to go down a bit more. Two seventy fives. Can we see that ass come down to two seventy five? Two nineties to two ninety sevens. Two seventy five. There's a there's a size coming in at two seventy six. There seven seven thousand. Can that grow uh, above that two seventy five level? Can we get some good push down downwards and break this previous this uh, intraday low of the two seventy two sixty fives here? $2.65. 
275s continue to get a bounce here. Have not seen that that next next leg flush yet though. Ooh, 25,000 sitting there at the 70s. 25,000 just got bought there at the 75. So I'm guessing that the play that they want is from the 75 back up here to VWAP, which will be a 25 cent winner. But looking at the hour chart, we see that that's not possible. This thing is still descending. So if someone bought that 75 there, I mean, it could be a good entry, but it's not uh, it's not the extension or the flush. And this is what I got caught in the last time when I bought and it, you know, it just continued down and then got to the level that actually looked really good. And I was like, I don't have any more capital. Uh, so I'm just being patient. It is Freaky Friday. This is the only thing that has a catalyst in the low float. So definitely where my interest is, if we flip back over to MRM or IMRN, it's just chopping around under the 275 with no catalyst. Uh, Tesla is down into the 21s now, continuing down. Spy still holding around that uh, 380 mark. So, yeah, just waiting. So now where's the next big size here on this one? The next size, the 230s. Yes, sir. 230s got some size down there. Let's see if we can continue to push down to 230s, 225s. And let's see if the ask is moving on down as well. We got 288s. Uh, no, that's, yeah, 288. So there's something big up here to 288s now. They're looking for entries. Any other sizes here? Still at the 350. They need to move that on down. Okay, 288s is our next big one right there. 11,000. It just popped up. It was 7,000 just a second ago. And then 275 has a size there as well. Two thirties, man. If this thing get down to the two thirties, whoo, that would be beautiful. But still, the size at two sixty two is uh holding, holding there. Two sixty two is it just tested it. So if it breaks it, that might be a harsh break on that two sixty two breakdown. Looking for them to come on down under the 275s. Get some get some aggression under that 275 to get keep this thing going. Uh, I see another one. What is oh EDSA? I saw that one yesterday. It's uh it has no catalyst either. With this one needs to fall before Xpon gets ready to do anything e either. So EDSA's got to fail as well. Just popping on the scans. So we got two that need to fail before Xpon responds. No catalyst on either one of these two though.
Let's look on the daily chart for EDSA. Fast trap small. Let me go and uh, read into EDSA real quick. EDSA. EDSA statistics got a float of 13.43 million. Yesterday had a phase two uh, B data for anticipated whatever. Let's see what drug this is. Chronic aller allergic contact dermatitis. So that's basically a skin allergen. Okay. Okay, so that's that isn't as good of news as the ion battery though. And that news was from yesterday. Moved up from the 137 up here to the 210s and now from the 208s up to the 249s. Need those a fail though. Both of these. IMRN slowing down as well. Its first candle got 5 million shares on 15 minutes, then 2 million, two million and then 1 million. This one still has not given me that flush. This one's what? 265-ish is where it's holding above and the VWAP is at the 2 or the 3, right at the $3. It's about 30 cents, a 30 cent win if it pops back to VWAP. Which, but you probably need to take your profit because it looks like the uh, ass continues to come on down towards this 275. So we'll see how it uh, handles 275. Will that become resistance? And where's that other, where are the big numbers down here on the uh, bid? Okay, so they're still sitting at 230. So hey. 230 is is a nice expectation point. We'll see we'll see what happens towards the 230. Seeing the sizes come in around this 270, but the big money isn't at the 270s yet cuz it will move. It will be moving. EDSA pulling back. We need to see some big fails on EDSA and IMRN before Xpun gets going. Daniel B. He's wishing us a Merry Christmas. Hey, man, it's always good to get a Merry Christmas, even if it's from the Grinch. Uh, let's see. Daniel B's one of the OGs, man. Original Grinches. <laughs> oh, man. I apologize for my, my needless, needless insults. EDSA coming on back in. Dang, Lord, Lord can't never see Daniel B's comments, bro. Lord, you need a VPN. You, you need a VPN so you can be anywhere. You need a VPN pronto. Oh, you can't see him either, Stunts? Okay, let me go back. Something's wrong. He's not blocked. I don't know why he would... Uh, we've already, we looked at this before. He's definitely not blocked. Let me see, Daniel B. Why can I see him? But Actually, you're right. I don't see him in the YouTube chats. Um, I don't know if anybody's blocked on my channel, really. Except some of those freaky little, um, 
sites they try to sneak on there. Let me see. Subtitles, settings. Ugh. Permissions, manage permissions, community. No, you're not on the block list. All right, let me add this then. I'll add DB real quick. Uh, Where'd he go? Daniel B, there he is, Daniel B. Add this one. I don't know which one of these it is though. Um what is Dang B's profile picture? And it's not showing up. I don't know, man. He's always blocking him. DB. I just add this one. I think this is the one. The one that I'm currently seeing right here. And uh, DB, if you can post something, let me see if you'll show up on the uh, YouTube. You should show up. I I hope that's you. It's got like a, I don't even know what that picture is. Yeah, yeah, I see you now. I see you, yeah. Um, so if DB posts something, y'all should see it. I see him in the uh in the comments now. Oh, he's going to cook his Christmas things. Hey, nice DB with chefing it up, man. DB said, "Don't trade today." <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. I'm I'm looking I'm looking around. And there's only one thing I'm really interested in with Catalyst. I'm just waiting for everything else to fall off. Two sixty twos. All right. So now on the bid or on the ask, we see the two seventies has twelve thousand shares there. Now they're holding under this 275, which is where we kind of wanted to see it. And it's moving on down to, to more or better levels here for me. Can we get that push on through this bottom of the 260s? I want this thing to be 250 or even 230 like this showing on the uh, bid here. May need to try to come back up first, though. Will this be, will it try to come back up to the 294s? If it does, that's not going to be a good because it's going to be a fell off VWAP, initial fell off VWAP. It needs to go ahead and uh, explode down instead of coming back up. Two thirty, two thirty, baby. All right, IMRN flattening out. Everything looking like it wants to flush. So definitely going to give it time to flush. Right now on the ask, not seeing any kind of... Uh, really large size like oh like fifteen thousand. only seeing this 270 here so that's two cents away 
two cents away from where it currently is. So if it pops up two cents, these um, ask orders will start getting filled. If they're really big, it may be pretty bad. It may actually force it on down. So we'll see. Can it touch that? Get over that two seven and start filling these orders. Slowing down quite a bit, though. Don't like that. I want to see that momentum into the downside. Has 15 minutes left on this hour candle as well. There's the 70s. Can we get that nice slam down here? 70s. 71. Get that slam here. 75. Will it become the resistance level? Those orders getting filled right above the 70s. If we look on the 30 minute, 30 minute, it did hold this uh, 260 level. Was looking for a little bit of breakdown, but didn't quite get it. 258 was kind of like the bottom there. Looking for this flush, if it can happen. Need that 275 to hold it down, though. It does not need any new highs. 288 is the high of this previous 15 minute candle. All right, let's go back over here. MR, uh, M I M R N coming on down. E D S A giving up the ghost as well. And I guess this could be a quick scalp, you know, from 74 up here to 88. So it's about 10 cents. But I'm looking for that further dump. I'm looking for that flush. Still hadn't flushed yet. Spy is breaking. Wow. Spy popped up there all the way back over the 380s real quick. Okay. Tesla back over the 122s. Tesla with the top volume on the day right now. 47 million shares traded. x is the runner up. Did Tesla get some news or something? Let's see. Um, Betty betting odds for next year. Tesla to 175. Elon Musk favorite crypto Dogecoin didn't have the best year. Whatever. Nothing. Tesla stock in danger of longest losing streak since March 2022 or 2020. No real news there. Got anything going on there? All right, so just being patient, waiting for the flush. Man, this is the, this looks exactly like the last trade I took. It was holding around the 272s. I got in and I was like, okay, this thing's holding here. And I got in on a red hour candle. And I was like, man, this thing's holding here. It looks beautiful. Man, this thing can go back up. Great. And it flushed. And that's that's what I'm looking at now. It looks literally the exact same. Same same price and everything. 275. I think Donnell was looking at it with me. 275. I got in and it just bloop. Took my little monies with it. And there's the fall. Look at there. Let's see if it'll break down the 60s. Man, if this thing breaks down, this thing looks exactly like the other one that I traded. This this is literally what I got caught in right here. It was holding the 75. I got in and I got splashed on. Oh, man.
Oh man. Because I didn't wait for the flush. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I the exact same. This is what I got caught on. This is how I got caught on the last one. All right. So now we getting we getting some movement downwards. Now it's starting to get that momentum. Now let's see how far it goes down and can it get caught? Uh, maybe around the two twenty five. So it's at the two fifties right now. Looking for that two twenty five ish level will be beautiful. Cause right now shorts are like okay, it's at a half. I mean, uh, longs are like it's at a half dollar level. Maybe this fifty a hold. Last time it did not, and even on the ask here, it was at it's still the uh not the ask the bid is still holding at two thirties, ten thousand shares. So I want to see it get down here and just at least give it a chance to get to these big numbers before I'm looking to take entries. Uh, let's see what else we got. So no big numbers. Uh, what? Three fifty still got twenty five thousand shares, but we need to see bigger numbers towards. Uh, okay. So yeah, yeah. Get on down to that two thirty, baby. This is this is what I needed to wait on on the last one. It looks the exact same. Oh my goodness! I feel so dumb for that first trade. God. All right. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a test of the 230s. Only 20 cents away from the 230s. From 230s down to maybe the 215s, I'll be interested in, uh, well, let's see what this previous bottom is. Previous bottom is 226. Looking like 250s holding very small there. I'm not seeing any kind of consolidation as of yet, though. We're going to continue down, baby. We're going to continue this thing down. Let's go. Let's go. Don't y'all feel that that long position coming? Oh man. I'm so happy that I'm following my rules. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Oh boy. This is this is going to be beautiful. Let's see, EDSA still struggling. Good, good. Everything else struggling. Mm -mm -mm. 26 million shares traded on this bad boy. Four minutes left for this hour candle to close.
And right now it is 292s will be the top, back to the top. So what's that like a 40 cent, 40 cent move back up if it were to move back up to the, I mean, back up to VWAP. But at the top of the chart, 375, that's almost a dollar and something on a on a, a dollar something move on the stock back up to the top top 375. Let's see, is it getting on down there to those 30s? 30s still sitting there with that 10,000 out there, two 30s. Uh, but there is a size here at the 41s too. So there's a 10,000 at the 41s. We'll see if it, so it look at, looking like the range is between 241 and 230. We'll see if it splashes through both of those or if though that this level starts to hold between uh, 241 with 10,000 and 230, 10 cent range there. Two forty one. The the size went down by half. Somebody took half off at two forty one. Let's see those 46s. Yes. Let's get on down to those 41s. New hour candle about to open up in about one minute. 43s. And then nice flush down. All the way through the gap. Back into this previous consolidation range of the 240s, 233s. So it's definitely in this range that I had marked up here, 265, 243, almost to that 230. 230 has 11,000 shares down there. on the books. There's a new hour candle. And this previous hour uh, was a 241 there, 241. Right in this uh, previous support level. So let's see. The bottom of this is 226. I think I'm going to give it a little bit more time to see if we can get down through those 40s. But I do like it. As long as it continues the lower highs here. And continues down below the 250s. This is the open of the hour, so definitely there's going to be some buyers that uh, want to get in on this low. But I'm going to give it a little bit of time. Give it at least, you know, a couple minutes. And this little high it just got to was the 260s. Still 230 sitting out there in the bid, hadn't moved yet. And 
now is the point where the new shorts are getting in late. So I'm wondering, okay, this thing, the big shorts got in here at the 371. Push this thing all the way down to the 241. Now, will this thing start trapping the new shorts getting in? when they see weakness because it's got to tempt them to the downside first before it starts actually going up and squeezing so it's definitely gave a little move some of the big the big guys are taking off a little bit of profits and all that we'll let them do their thing and uh, i'm looking for this thing to come on down to 230s though they're getting their nice little cover getting those new retail shorts in there that have a worse position to the short side than them and I'm going to be looking for that squeeze later on uh, in the day. But I do not want to enter here just yet. I want to see that 230 get tested. And definitely, if it breaks down 230 and can get 225, I'm very interested. Then I'll be risking only 25 cents down to $2 uh, on this trade. Because $2 is my line in the sand, which is why it's this blue line right here. If it passes that, I'm like, mm, I don't know if I want it. Hmm. And the thing is, the people that are using level twos to kind of do their entries, they see this point down here that's 230. It's like it's clear as day where the 230 is you know everybody has time to look down here and be like okay there's a size and a spoof number right under this 230 230 may be a place where i want to start an entry you know what i mean at least get a starter so i'm using the charts themselves and i'm using the level twos and we'll see if it works out today if we can get that test of the 230 i'll be very interested
what I kind of realized is like when these when these market makers and things or these prop traders are trading, it's like when they follow their rules and they get what they want, you'll see those big moves at those positions. I mean, somebody at the 230 has put that out there intentionally. Somebody sees that 230 as a mark where they're like, you know what, this would be a good buy. This and I don't know if those are limit orders or what, but I'm like, look, if they're they're taste testing at the 230, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna be playing around up here at the 50 because that's that'll be a 20 cent loss um if they're looking for scalps. So plenty of volume still in this thing. Uh first 15 minutes was four or uh, nine million, four million, two million, one or almost two million, and now this one at one million. And only 20 cents away from that 30. And I and this is why I don't really believe in stop hunting. Stop hunting, I don't think it's a real thing. Because if you have a good entry, the people above you will keep the price off of you. You know what I mean? Like people be like, oh, they're stop hunting. Well, did you check the level twos? Because if you bought up here at, you know, when it was up here at the 93s, when if you would have just checked the level twos, you would have seen that this thing's trying to get down. At first, the uh the the sizes were like i think it was at the 60s 260s so i'm like i don't think they're stop hunting i think they're just trying to go for better prices and you just got in the way let the big money do their thing man 250s getting tested again let's see if it can get on down here they trying to hold the 250s up for some odd reason. No such thing as a stop hunt. You just took a bad position. That's all. Like I did on my last trade. I got in on right before, like two candles before a flush. Because I didn't, I didn't look at the level twos. I didn't, I was like, oh. It's holding a quarter dollar level. I think this is it. Should have waited. Let's look back here on EDSA. Had quite a bit of a dip down. IMRN going flat. Everything's looking good. Looking good. A lot of red now the colors that you see over here on my tape the red is for any action that's happening uh below the bid so sellers are trying to get in these are the retail sellers trying to get in before it goes down more when you see that red going through under vweb and then a lot of times above vweb you see that green coming in a whole lot above the ask so green is for above the ask red is for below the bid and right now we're seeing people get in more and more below the bid. So looking for this to come on down. I don't know how long it's going to take to get to this uh, 230, but I'm not looking for any trades until it reaches that 230. Two fifty fours, pushing its way away from VWAP. That's what we want to see, getting away from VWAP for that resurgence back to those highs. Now at this point, look at your risk to reward. If the top, okay, so the first first place I'll be looking for is the VWAP. How far is this thing away from VWAP? If it does sell off, can I sell half at VWAP and take a nice profit? Then the next thing is beyond VWAP up here to the top 374s that is 
right now that's almost a dollar 25 ish back up to the top so is that dollar 25 worth the position that you're taking you know what i'm saying you have to get in while it's well if you're going long you have to get in while it's looking ugly for the longs to make some good money and then if you're going short you got to get in while it's looking ugly for the shorts which is what these people did right at the top here at 375. When everything looks pretty, you're about to get your money took. Just giving it time, man. Tesla coming on down. Tesla got 69 million shares traded. If Tesla starts to slow down a little bit and just go flat, that would be great. More and more red coming in there. Action under the bid. And now you could look at this in two ways. Because this could, this action under the bid could be sellers getting in. But it can also be a buyer accumulating at different price levels under at the bid. You know when uh, you're trading above VWAP and you're trying to buy the bid and you just can't get it? Well, below the VWAP, the bid is super easy to get. You can get filled on the bid all the time. So... Somebody could be accumulating a position here um, um, to the long side as well. But I'm just not interested until I see the accumulation of the big money here at 230. That's what I'm looking for, that 230 drop. Right now we're seeing 250 because they could be accumulating above 230, but it's like the, the this stands out too much to me. This is too obvious to me, this 230. want to see it get either challenged or broken. Only 20 cents away, too. Uh, we're about to close up this 15-minute candle in two minutes. Less than two minutes. Two fifties getting a hard test here. Somebody just put in four thousand shares over here. Where are those forty nines? Forty nines. Where y'all at? Forty nines coming through right there. Looking beautiful. Down to this two thirty. Open up the new candle with a lower high. 265 is a top up here. Looking for a break of the, uh, this is indecision, but it's indecision to the downside of the previous candle at the 250. Looking for another test of that 49, 48 level. On the hour chart, we can see it came up here to the uh, 266-ish which is kind of an odd number for it to stop on. So I'm thinking somebody's just taking a, a position to the short side, 266, that's just trading odd numbers, numbers that just don't make sense. We're looking for this breakdown below the 265s, 250 level. This should encourage shorts, the retail shorts, to get on in here. This candle right here on this previous 15-minute candle, if they're trading on lower time frames, it should encourage them to get in before the breakdown of 250. So we'll see if that happens.
uh, size going up here at 230 to 11 and we had 10,000 somebody add another thousand there we'll see if that holds short seeing that lower high form let's see if they'll try to it's only seven cents away from the 50 cent breakdown so if along was to get into this they'll be like okay well as long as it holds a 50 i'm gonna be in so we're looking for them to get pushed out of their positions uh right here at the 250s There we go. Let's see if we can see a secondary flush here. Secondary flush coming. Uh, this bottom is the 242s. We'll see how fast it can get down to the two or the 230s. Pulling back there to indecision real quick, giving some more shorts, a little bit of time to get in right there at the 250, getting that FOMO going. Let's see if we can get this push down. Looking for that 230. Where's those numbers? 230 break. Continue to try to hold those 50s. Come on, get that big stab down. Almost 30 million shares traded here. Need to see the 45s break down. Only two cents away from the 45s. Come on, big boy. Where is that flush? Forty eight's trying to hold their ten thousand uh couple of shares coming in here. But still looking for that flush. Those may be just FOMO shares because they're seeing it pause. Let's see if they get flushed out of there. 48 down to the 30. That's a 10 cent drop. Or, I mean, 20 cent drop. My bad. 50s trying to get challenged here. How much time we got on this candle? We got... Um, 30 minute candle about to close in just a few seconds. Looking at this 30 minute though, 30 minute is very bearish down here. So I was looking for this thing to go ahead and break down this 240 uh, and give them a little bit of a, a little push out for the shorts to get in.
Got to see that 230 first. Forty eights running out of uh buyers there, forty eight. See we see some forty sevens come on the uh tape here. Forty sevens, can we see them? See forty nines and forty eights kind of going back and forth. Fifties, fifty ones, forty nines, a little bit of fear there. Fifties getting tested, becoming this is some close resistance. For this to be the bottom here, uh ten cents away, that's some close resistance right there. Let's see if they get sold off here through that forty. Because usually if it's going to get up and go, it's going to get up and go. But at this point, it's just getting pops. Not really uh, that big money move that we're we're so accustomed to it getting up off those levels. Only four cents off the 50. That's a horrible little breakup. More and more longs in there for this nice little dip down. Let's go. Lower and lower highs as well. Let's get going downward. Right now, the pop back to VWAP would be up to the uh, 285s, 287s from here. So it'd be a 30 cent winner if it was going to go up. Still got 20 cents, man. 20 cents, but I do like it on the day. Just waiting on that flush. IMRN back and forth. What's up, One Life? Everybody getting in here. Uh, let's see. Let me look through some of these chats. Glad y'all can see Daniel B's uh, comments now. I don't know why I had. I don't know. I just made him an approved uh, user. I don't know. I don't know why I did that. But Daniel B, uh, I may have to approve your. Uh, I just put you in the approved thing, and you're the only one in there. Nobody else needed it. But yeah. Gonna give X Mon a try if it can get down there to those 30s. That number is still sitting there nice and solid. Uh no, it wasn't a YouTube chat setting issue. It was just he needed to be, I don't know why he needed to be approved. Like nobody else needs that. He wasn't blocked. Like, I don't know. It's crazy.
Crazy, crazy, crazy. Defaults. So allow all comments. Nothing looking weird. Yeah. Oh well. Two fifty sevens. Getting a little bought up there at two sixties. Did not come down to the two thirties like I wanted. So oh well. Not not doing what I wanted to do yet. Don't know if it will. Still on a lower high. Let's see if it continues the lower high or will it try to pop this high real quick? 10 cents away from the 50s. Two sixty holding it down though. Eight cents away from the 50, man. This thing has got to be entry level for some shorts. Got to be. No way they want this to come back against them just yet. Anyway, in other news, Tesla is getting slaughtered back to the downside. Uh, Spy doing about the same move, just with less volatility. MRIN or, or uh, IMRN doesn't have the catalyst. EDSA does not have the catalyst. Let me flip over here to the scans real quick and see what else we got over here while we wait for that 230 to approach. Armid, DBGI, WEL, APCX, mm. yeah. So it looks like if these, if this doesn't do what I needed to do, this be a no trade then, because it's the only other thing I, I kind of like and see. All right, Xpun, what you got? Looks like the 260s. Are you going to give us a big slam down? You got this. Take them down. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. I want to see that 230. They do not want to see that happen. Continues to make these lower highs. So the previous high was 265. And it looks like it double topped there. High 265, high of 264. So a little bit lower on this uh, secondary one. So let's see if they can hold it below the 60s. 61 just got tapped. So at this point, back to VWAP would be about 20 cents back to VWAP. If it fails VWAP again, I'm just going to have to leave it alone because I don't, I don't really want to mess with this if it's not going to do what I need it to do. Continues to try to break that new high, just cannot get that pressure there for that 65 break. 
over here on the tape we can see 60 61s everything except that high break of the 65 61s 62s 65s will it get that sale right here Sixty five. That was a break of the new high. Will it be a weak break? Get back under that sixty five. Yeah, that was a pretty weak break for this low float. That was a two cent breakout. Will that cause fear in the longs? Will that cause fear? It's taking too long. They're getting nervous. Only two cent breakout. They're like, oh man, this ain't worth it. How much fear will it cause? Can we get that explosion back down through the 60s? Taking a while, 65, 66, can we see 64s? Two cent breakout. Sixty threes. Shorts getting more confident under VWAP. Can we see those sixty threes pop? There's sixty threes. Come on in, shorts. Take them home. Take them home. Let's get to that 230. Very weak breakout there. I like it. Feels like it's going to be some cheap, cheaper prices here coming soon. There is a 256. Can we get on back under the 250s here? Because they're already in pain. Think about anybody that bought that this breakout here. 65 looking for maybe 75 maybe a 10 cent and now they're in it they're down four cents and they're like this ain't that bad i'll hold let's let the shorts go to work now they're going to be down 20 cents down to the 230s here soon 230s that number's still holding strong this ain't that bad I'm only down I'm right under the 50s. I'm, I'm going to put my stop loss at the 50. Okay. Okay. Dinner time. Man, it ain't going to hit the 50. It'll hold up. I hope. Thirty one million shares traded here. Just entering the first phases of what looked like a consolidation for a continuation move to the downside. Let's see if it continues to hold down under those 60s. <clears throat> continues to flip flop the 60s after a failed breakout. Mm 
And this is where the hopes and dreams get crushed. Want to look real ugly for the longs. Where's that most painful position? The most painful position is probably the 250 right now. 250 breakdown. Sixty fives getting tested again, again getting clapped. This thing right here, man, come on. You got all this volume, man. Go ahead and fall. That's what, four or five failures at the uh, 65 there after that false breakout. So when will the longs get impatient and be like, you know what? This thing's probably not coming back up. Look at EDSA. Uh, both of these are failing nicely. Seeing some size build around the 242s. Uh, see about 5,000 out there. I'm looking for anything from you know five to twenty thousand just kind of sitting out there on the books. See if those can become hold points. Um up here we have the 284s, uh big size of 284. Another try at the 65, not really wanting to give up that 65 just yet. Many, many failures at that 65. So that'll be a point we need to keep our eye on. Because that'll be a nice point for it to come back through for resistance. 65, 265s. Could be a level we need to keep our eye on.
So we got these two levels down here, 225. Well, we have a bottom here of the 242 for support. And then 225 and then two dollars. And it continues to just play with this 265 here. And we see some 59s. Uh, looking at the ask, uh, ask and the bid it is definitely closed down these ranges. Look at 64s. They're basically sitting right there. Tw looks like what 7,000 over here to 65, and a thousand over here to 64s. Much bigger size on the ask side. So we'll see if we get some downwards movement off of this. Looks like the shorts have covered as much as they want. They may be hold, still holding a little bit of position of that short, that short size sale, though. Oh, there's a 66. Small break again. Not fast at all there over the 65s. 67s. Sixty-eight, sixty-nines. Will we see a slam back under the sixty-fives here? Is the question. So that's ten cents that it struggled to get there 65 to 75 and now back down see if we could reclaim those 65s new candle just opened 10 15 Just not giving me what I was looking for there. Wanted to come down a little bit more. Definitely took his time getting down. Now the 275. 275, I just saw 10,000 shares right there at the 275. Let's see if it gets some slammage. 33,000 right there at the 275. Popped up there just briefly. If you re If you rewind it, you see 33,000 at the uh, 775. That was wow. Some nice size. Let's see if they can get it back under the 65s here. All right, will we finally get our move down here? 230 still holding, waiting. It is almost 1030. I'm going to continue watching this thing throughout the day. Uh, if I take a trade, I'll let you guys know, but I am about to go and I got other work to do. Uh, I definitely streamed a little bit longer this this morning than I usually do. Waiting for that 2.30. If y'all see 2.30, you already know I'm looking. I'm looking for something at those levels. 
But yeah, coming back to those uh, 60s right now, it's just taking a while, man. And if it doesn't come into play, oh well, you know, I'm okay with not uh not getting tortured today. Because at this point, the 65 is getting tested here. I mean, it's not that much for it to just push down two cents with being this low float. And that's the other thing. The range on this stock uh, with it being low float hasn't even really opened up yet. It's kind of just, uh, except for this opening candle, hasn't really given a whole lot of, uh, of those nice movements up or down. If we look at the size of the candles in comparison to the opening candle from 374 up here down here to the 266, closed up to 305 to uh 266. That's what like 40 cents, and then into this one 261 up to 87. That's 20 cents. 40 up to uh 75. You know, just closing down these ranges smaller and smaller. So. That's okay. Um, in comparison to the open, though, I think it can at least test maybe 315 a day, but I needed to come to the lows. I need an actual nice dip with momentum. This one kind of grinded into this dip and just struggled around this dip. So I just said, uh, nah, I'm good. If it goes, it goes, you know, got the uh, 275s up here becoming a little bit of resistance. Anyway, uh, that is it for me today. Uh, like I said, I'll update you guys in the Discord if I if I see anything that I like. But as of now, this thing's just moving too slow, chopping around, closing down its ranges. Um, but yeah, if you're going to continue trading today, be careful, be mindful of uh, Christmas holidays and not as many people being in the markets as normal. Um. But yeah, that's that's it for me today. 268. Let's I want to just sit here and watch it, but I'm wasting time. I could be doing other things. That's the only that's the only thing I hate about this. I love watching the market, but I could be making money elsewhere. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and close it down. Um and as always, I will see you guys in the next one merry christmas to all you guys uh definitely don't eat too much you know uh, don't go into the new year with a new type of disease like type two um definitely control yourself don't make a, a lot of people they make those new year's uh resolutions and they never come to pass look if you make them keep them stick to them you know have a goal write it down Write it everywhere, on your mirror, on everywhere you want to go. Just write it everywhere so you see it. And it keeps you aware of where you're trying to go. But anyway, that is it for me today. Um, Monday. Monday, I will be visiting family. So Monday, I won't stream on Monday. I'll be visiting family. I'll be back on Wednesday because, yeah, I, I need to spend some time with them. Oh, wait, before I close out, though. Look at our boy x Spun coming on back through that thing. Let's go. Get down to those 260s. And I look, if this thing hits 230, I'm very interested. I'm serious. Uh, but anyway, that is it for me today. And as always, let me make sure I'm on the right screen. I will see you in the next one. Peace.